Hi, I'm Anthony Abma from Return to Israel, Christians and supported Jewish sovereignty. And I've come to Nashville, Tennessee to be a part of the National Religious Broadcasters Convention. Now, this convention is a gathering of all kinds of Christian ministries, of uh, Christian television, Christian radio, internet ministries from around the world. There's, there's uh, broadcast corporations here from uh, Norway, from India, uh, from the Spanish world. And so I came here to be able to tell them about what we're endeavoring to do. But of course, as we speak about uh, what's going on in Israel, uh, we also have to recognize that there are the Arab Muslims that live there and that they also are interested in living in a peaceful situation. And so what I decided to do in coming to this NRB was to bring my friend Sheikh Tamimi from Ramallah. And uh, as we walked around here in the NRB, uh, we, got a, we got a lot of interesting comments, didn't we, Sheikh? Yeah, sure, sure. But most of it was positive, wasn't it? I mean, they were they were looking uh, here at us and this Christian uh, convention of religious broadcasters and seeing a Muslim. But uh, how were you treated? Were you uh, treated with respect, uh, or were you a little bit nervous, or how did you find it? Uh, really, with full respect. Uh, we, uh, uh, you know, as you and as some friends, like uh, Nigel, you know the. You were afraid that uh, maybe some uh, uh, some rejections will happen here, or some negative uh, reactions from some uh, participants here, because it's a Christian uh, convention. But on the contrary, it was really uh, my pleasure to participate here, and a lot of uh, respect, a lot of sympathy I've uh, taken here. Yeah, one of the things that uh, I felt was important to be able to share with the Christian broadcast community and the Christian community in general was, is that there's a lot of publicity given to the negative side of Islam. The terrorists, the terrorist acts, the, uh, the crimes that are committed against Christians and against Jews. But in finding a man that was courageous enough to be able to tell the world that that's not a true representation of the Quran and the Arab people in Israel. It was, it was a great opportunity for the Sheikh to come here and share with the Christian community what his feelings are about how peace can be achieved there. So one of the things that uh, I was wanting the Christian community in large here in this convention to hear was is that uh, your perspective about uh, how peace can be realized in Israel and uh, you know some of the places that you've been invited to uh, to share your message you know you've you've traveled the world and uh, you've come to America before so tell us about what uh, what your what your desire is and of the people you're representing in Ramallah Hebron in the Palestinian territories yeah all most of the people uh, there they want uh, peace and they want uh, to see uh, harmony and uh, an economical prosperity also uh, of course there are some some groups who doesn't want uh, any uh, peace achievements or uh, 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 reconciliation but they are not representing Islam or not re representing also the Arab world um, we need uh, to build uh, something uh, on respect of course of mutual respect and I think this is achievable it's not impossible it's achievable uh, Muslims and the people of the book uh, have a lot of common things but we have to uh, em empower these efforts and much more cooperation and understanding and also, uh, we have to be patient. Yeah, you've been taking this message and invited to other places in Europe and uh, and America. You know, uh, tell us uh, about uh, the people you've been sharing this with. Yeah, I traveled really to uh, to Europe uh, many times. Uh, I've been in the uh, European Parliament and in the French Parliament and the Spanish Parliament. Uh, and I'm going to uh, also uh, another countries in the future. I was also in the White House uh, and I was uh, two times in the Congress. I spoke also to uh, congressmen and, uh, and senates 
it's it, it is really um, a good opportunity to speak to to the Christian world and uh, here in the NRB. As I said before, uh, some of our friends uh, were afraid that uh, it will be an, some negative reactions, but uh, on the contrary, uh, everybody here is welcoming us and uh, uh, the American people, I, I saw them, they want to, to listen and to understand what is going there. And uh, in this way, the dialogue and uh, the, uh, the, um, uh, the, the, the mutual respect will pave the way for us uh, to have a better situation in the, in the Holy Land and to have a peace and coexistence there. And I, I think we'll, it will be a full respect. And we are, you know, as Muslims, we are also waiting for the Messiah. It's the, the ultimate solution that we have, but also we, uh, we concentrate that any efforts against that is, is just a waste, wasting of time and, uh, and it's a wasted, wasted efforts. When you say any efforts against that, you mean uh, of not uh, trying to promote peace. Peace is going to be the platform and the environment of what will bring the Messiah. Is that what you mean? Yeah, I mean spread of hatred. I mean a, a, a aggressive attitudes. It doesn't work and it's, it will not be benefit for any side. Yeah, that's exactly right. And so thank you for joining us. We know you have a choice and uh, we trust that you'll come back to Return to Israel or sign up to our websites, uh, emails or liking our YouTube so that you can get f more information and, and a further unfolding of what's happening on the ground in Israel. Anthony Abba for Return to Israel. Thank you.